Hello, everybody. It's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. Yes, I have little windows here and there that I put in a post, okay? So you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel with your notifications on so you know when that happens. And they're just, it's a fun game. So it's just like little tiny windows. Like if you get your reading request in between this time and this time, you get this, okay? If you miss that window, no, it doesn't apply, okay? So just be aware that uh, somebody last night got in right at the perfect time and I'm giving them some extra time on their reading. You know what I'm saying? So no, that will not apply to every... <laughs> Like I said, I said this in one of the posts, I see exactly what time and day you put in your request. I have my records of what I've offered, okay? So yeah, just keep that in mind, okay? So also check out my lives. The next one I have coming up will be on, I believe it's the 28th and it's on soul codes and soul code activation. Very important to understand what repeating numbers are showing you and how that affects your energy field. It's way deeper than we've said like, oh, if you see 1111, it means manifestation and ascension and make a wish. It's not, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's much, much more than that. So let's get into it here. Clear sentience, Archangel Raguel. Raguel and Azrael have been coming up quite a bit recently. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. I was saying, I believe in the weekly, if you have a strange feeling around somewhere, trust it. Okay. I was giving the example about having gone to a market right from the time I was walking up. I had a really strange feeling and I let my mind override it and I went on in and I just started seeing very strange behavior out of people beyond just being rude and entitled, like acting like robots. Oh, very creepy. <laughs> very, very creepy. And um, I finally, after I had been there for about 20 minutes, decided to leave. I did not go back. I had a pass for the entire weekend, did not go back. I was like, no, that I just had a very, very, very strange feeling. And then later that night, we had an incident here in Colorado Springs. So maybe that's what I was picking up on. I don't know. But the idea here is to trust what you are feeling. And Raguel shows up and says, don't just trust what you're feeling. Trust what you're feeling about other people. Okay, not in a judgy kind of way, but if there's somebody who's trying to, like I, I'll give you a perfect example. I was telling somebody um, on a very deep level how I felt about something, um, and it was a very serious situation, and the person mocked me and diminished me and said that I was making too much out of it. That's where we're at. <laughs> That's where we're at, where people are not taking things seriously. You know what I'm saying? So... And, and that can be diminishing to people who are trying to take things seriously. So this really is a call for us to be very strong and very aware. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.